Hey, I'm Blaze, and today I'm here with Suri. What's up, Suri? Uh, nothing much. Just being, it's just really hot here in New York, and it's very, 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 um, very sweaty right now. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. So, anyway, what you been doing recently? Well, my parents just had a garage sale, and they were selling stuff, and I was thinking, oh, maybe I should sell my cards for money, so that way I can um. Get them for my Daydara cosplay, so that way I can go to this convention in May at my local library. So. Oh, that's cool! Like, um, you gotta be selling it in the garage sale, or. And my parents told me that if I sold them the garage sale, they wouldn't know how much it would cost. So, they're telling me to go on eBay. They're going to tell me on, tell me to go on um Craigslist, etc. So. Oh, I see that. That seems to work, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, um. Like what? So, what kind of projects have you been doing recently? Well, well, what I'm working like current, what I'm currently working on now is um my Kingdom Hearts project, which I'm still needing more auditions for the rest of the characters, and I'm working on the Sonic and the Black Knight thing where we have our full cast, and we sent the preview skip sca- the preview script to everyone. So I'm waiting for lines from the. Voice actors who voice um, Shadow, who's played by my friend Marduk, and um, the King Arthur, who's voiced by my other friend Sonic Mega. So. Oh, that's cool. Uh, any other any other projects or? Well, well, to be honest, um, some of them are on hold to the other reasons. You know, some of them are canceled. Some of them are on a hold. It's like I don't know, just. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's cool. like, um, you know, I just got like other reasons to why some of them are on hold, some of them are on canceled, etc. So. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Uh, so um, tell us like, tell us some of the people that you work for. Like, tell tell some names or so. Who do I work for? Very interesting question. Um. To be honest, I actually work for no one. To be honest, like it's it's based on whenever people need me for a role. Like for example, um, I auditioned for a project, and let's see which one wasn't. Well, I actually recently auditioned for this Pote Mayo auditioning thing, and um, I actually got the role. So basically, like I just auditioned. Alone, and then you know whatever I go into, I just go into, and then I work out with them if there's any projects going on with the studio or whatever. So, oh, like for example, I'm in um, Phantom 4722's um little group thing because um I got the role of Petunia Dursley in the um Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stones radio play. So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I got Petunia. Did that? Sorry, um, Petunia Dursley, and I just got which extra for the whole production. So. Oh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> another thing I want to ask is, um, like, your dream is to like work for um, Funimation. And yes, that's one of my biggest dreams ever, and what I'm trying to work for right now. Yeah, I mean, based on how you're all, how you're doing your voice acting, I think that's a high chance it's gonna happen. Hopefully, it will. Like. I was gonna plan on mo- getting money, like going to New York City, finding myself a voice coach, or like other. Also, a couple friends were telling me that if I go to a college, like a performing arts college, I could do better. But I'm just gonna stick with the voice coaching idea for right now, and then see whatever I need to try and work on and so. A, a voice coach. Yeah, like someone to help me with my emotions. That's the problem I kind of have. But the range is okay. It's just I need to work on emotion a little bit more before I go into any um, professional stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, huh, like, um, pretty much like, um, how many people say, like, like you know, think like you're a good voice actor? How many people would you say that? Wow. Well, <laughs> How I say this, um, well, I think I've heard it from 20 people, I guess. I don't know. Base estimate, approximately 10, 20, 15 people. 
I'm thinking, because I got like, how many subscribers do I have? It's probably around, um, uh, let me see. Ah, I have 57 subscribers from right now, so. Oh, I see. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's really amazing. Like, all of a sudden, like, when I started the internet, it's like, um, I'm just doing these dubs. I'm doing these dubs for fun. And then when I joined the groups, I've learned more of voice acting. And then all of a sudden, I just, like, I went from... I went from being a uh, trying-to-be-popular um, person on YouTube, actually. Like, a fun dubber to being trying to be a voice actor. So I've improved a lot within two years of um, dubbing, voice acting, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. Um. So, um, I wanted to know is that, um, like, how did you ever start being, you know, voice acting? How did I start? Yeah. Um. Well, it's like it all started with Skype. All of a sudden, like, I get this new microphone. It was like one of those desktop ones, and I started talking with my ex-boyfriend who lives in Finland, and then all of a sudden, um. I just like all of a sudden I find out this group called Black Arms was doing auditions. Like this was this was before um, I got a chance to uh, like have the idea of voice act thanks to my friend Mugiwara Mikey. He showed me that dubbing is really fun, so that's where I got parody dubbings from, music videos, etc. That's how I started YouTube and all. And then um, what else? Like, after Black Arms, of course, I started working along Chaotic Flames, but then I was kicked out, and then, um, I, I just went on my own with voice acting. I really, right now, I really don't matter if I'm in a group or not. It's just, like, I just want to voice act for fun, you know? You know, voice acting is probably, I say voice acting is, like, more for fun than just money, you know? Uh -oh, okay. Like, if I get chosen for a role for Funimation, I know I'm doing it for fun. Not just because I'm getting money, you know. I sure you don't want to get paid. Of course I want to get paid. It's just like I, I'm just doing it for fun, you know. Okay, well that's really, that sounds like really good, like you know. Mm -hmm. Like, I already think what you're doing is like pretty awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, Siri, is there like anything else you want to say? Well. Well, also why I want to be a voice actor is usually, like, if I really don't get into Funimation, I could, like, go into another studio, like, 4Kids, maybe, because I, I also had another dream. I wanted to become, like, one of the Sonic characters in the video games you see every time. And, and then, you know, like, if not, then I would make my own studios, which helps um, people who really love Yaoi or people who really like Yuri to, um, have an experience with watching them in English, so. Alright, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, um, Suri, like, thank you so much for being on my show. Uh, it's no problem. Well, um, so if you have any more questions for uh, me and Suri, just, like, remember to, like, um, subscribe and comment us on our YouTube channel. And I'm also working on a Q&A video. If you want to post questions for me on there, you can. Oh, really? That's that's pretty good. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So anyway, that's all the time I have. And um, until tune in next time. And thanks for watching my show. Later. See ya.